Welcome to Black Renaissance. I'm your host, Kristen Ayers. We've got a great show for you this week. Art, good causes, and food. And that's where we will start. Nutrition. Celebrity chef Katrina Carter is a health coach helping NBA stars like Kevon Looney with their nutrition game off the court. She has a new book coming out, Time to Eat Clean, Meal Prep Simplified. She's here with some tips on how to do just that. Welcome to Black Renaissance, Katrina. Thank you, Kristen. We are so happy to have you. Um, I was delighted when I heard that you were working with the Warriors and specifically with Kevon Looney, who dropped a ton of weight yes. last season. Yes, he Came did. out healthy and strong and played a very pivotal role in the Warriors winning season. Obviously, the question is, how did you do it? Because he's <laughs> shouted you out for your work. He did, and I was really grateful for that. Um, you know, one of the things I got to do with Kavon was tailor the meals directly to him and his diet. So when he first came to me, he had been working with a trainer off-season when he was down in L.A., and he was given a really strict regimen. And I was like, you know what? You actually don't have to be that strict as long as we're focused on foods that reduce inflammation in your body, which is huge for everyone, but really big, especially for athletes when they have injuries that they're recovering from. And that mm. was big for him. So one of the things that we focused on for him was how can I make sure he's getting the number of calories he needed because he's working out so much. Right. But at the same time, making sure that we're focused on what's going to give him the most energy at, as well as reducing the inflammation at the same time. Now, I know when I hear you say you don't have to, you know, put as much, you know, make it as strict as, it, as he was doing it. That's the kind of diet I like to hear. Right. So, you know, <laughs> a diet that's a little less strict, but, you know, still helps you out. Yeah, it's really important to know exactly what we should put in our bodies. I'm really big on um, having a wide variety, but at the same time, I always talk about eating clean, and eating clean was a big buzzword a few years ago, and there's all these different buzzwords that come out all the time. Um, but it really just means eating real food. I tell everyone, if you're going to just start with eating real food and reducing the amount of processed foods you put in your body, and your body will respond. And so that's what we started with, with Kavan. I've heard a lot about kind of shopping on the perimeter of mm -hmm. the grocery store, not necessarily the box stuff in the middle. Yes. Is that kind of where we're coming from with clean Exactly, clean okay. and plant-based eating has become another big thing. There was a documentary that came out last year called What the Health, and it had everyone all scared, and, oh, I have to eat nothing but plant-based foods. And it's true, you do, um, but it, you also just need to know where the source is of your foods. And so that's what we like to, that's what I focus on for Kavan, that's what I focus on for my other meal prep clients, and then just whatever we eat in general. I always tell my son, um, as you know, I have a 12-year-old son, and I tell him all the time, like, it's not that you can't eat certain things, just eat foods with real ingredients. Real ingredients. Real ingredients. That so have cute. the cookie, but make sure you know where did that butter come from, where did those eggs come from. So we just focus on making sure what is, where is everything sourced. Very good rule of thumb. I know you are big on meal prep. Yes. And that is a really challenging thing for somebody who has a very busy schedule. But I guess if Kevon Looney can do it, so can everyone, right? That's yes. a busy guy. It is. Um, talk to me about, you have a couple of sort of go-tos, because I know breakfast is a big thing, okay? Mm -hmm. My breakfast usually consists of coffee mm -hmm. and maybe a piece of fruit. Right. But you know what I mean? It's not exactly really healthy. And you're yeah. supposed to have a, a decent breakfast. So tell me about what one of your go-tos are for breakfast. There's a couple of them that I always go to. One I was almost going to bring today is ground turkey with uh, chopped egg whites and brown rice. Okay. Strange combination. It's a scramble that I always already have ready. Um, and a lot of my clients get it. But another one that I make ahead of time that I actually brought some today is an oatmeal blueberry protein pancake. So I actually take these oats and ground them first in the blender and then I add all the rest of these ingredients. So I add the blueberries, I add um, the almond milk, your egg whites, and then um, I also add one other thing. This is a variable, but because it's not necessary and it can be a little expensive. This is flaxseed oil mm -hmm. um, and it's blueberry uh, flavored. There's no sugar. Okay. Yeah. So, and it's really, it gives you great, um, that helps reduce inflammation in the body. It gives you natural oils that your body needs, omega, um, omega-3 fatty acids. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the things I add. And then I add a little bit of vanilla extract, some cinnamon, your vegan protein, and it's really important to have a clean protein. There's tons of protein powders out there, mm -hmm. and you want to make sure that you have natural ingredients in that protein. Okay. So that's really big. Um, and then stevia is a natural sugar alternative. So mm -hmm. just put all that in the blender, turn that into the batter, and then make pancakes. And I normally make this, uh, the recipe that I have on my website yields, and in the book, yields about 16 to 18 pancakes. Okay. So then I can throw two of them in the microwave or a toaster, toaster oven, grab them, take them, go. 
Okay. Right. And they're, they're filling. They smell really good. They smell yes. like blueberries. <laughs> I like it. I, and you, you don't want to douse this in syrup, no, right? No, no. So I bring either natural honey. You want local organic honey because most people don't know, but this actually helps build up your immune system. So if you have allergies, the more you have local honey, the more it helps build up your immune system. Um, to the local allergens and then or applesauce. So those are the two things okay. that I'll put on. But a lot of times, a lot of flavors in there. So it's literally, uh, you'll see me eating these in the car or at the gym <laughs> all the time. So. I'm yeah. going to go back, <laughs> listen to this, and make myself a batch. I Absolutely. <laughs> I, I'm going to do it. I know there's so much more that you have in your book. Yes. And I can't wait to read it. And, you know, you should read it, too. That book is called Time to Eat Clean, Meal Prep Simplified, coming out later this year. And in the meantime, you can check out her website, thinkkatrina.com, and follow her on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. She's all over the place. Her handle is at Think Katrina. And coming up, an art gallery like no other in the country when Black Renaissance returns in just a moment.